Hey folks, Kyle Keel with some new training footage for you. Uh, you are going to see in this video some squat training that I performed today. I am starting the next phase of my training, and in this next phase of my training, the volume is going to be reduced considerably. I am out of the phase in which I was doing four to five sets of eight per session. And uh, now I'm going to be running a wave periodization model in which I, uh, I go um, from uh, a four rep week one to a three rep week two and a two rep week three. And uh, the progression protocol will be linear. Um, it will occur every mesocycle and it will probably occur to the rate of 10 pounds at least between the first meso and the second. And uh, it might be only five pounds after that, but I'll probably take a pretty decent sized jump at least the first time as I acclimate to training at a higher intensity. This is the first time in several months that I've done, I think to the best of my knowledge, this is the first time in several months, um, probably close to four months, that I've done um, 315 for anything more than a single repetition. Uh, actually using weights at this intensity level for working sets is not something that I've done uh, in quite a while. And uh, so <clears throat> I worked up today to 335 for a set of four. I did 315 for four, 335 for four, 315 for four, 315 for four. And uh, <clears throat> after that, I did two sets of reverse band squats, which you're going to see in a little bit. I focused and cued myself uh, um, very much on keeping a, uh, a stable torso, maybe not an upright torso. I wasn't too focused about being as vertical as possible. But I was trying to keep a stable torso. I didn't want to collapse at all at the bottom. Um, that forced me to slow my eccentric down, so I wasn't really getting any stretch reflex on my first few sets. And uh, that's something that I was able to, to adapt to and implement into my squatting on the last set with 315. I started to be able to drop down a little bit better into the hole, and that made these much easier. Otherwise, they felt fine. They certainly didn't feel difficult, but with this new technique, it's just... It's so hard for me to even judge when I'm close to failure, what I can grind through, what I can't grind through. Uh, none of these sets offered me um, <clears throat> enough of a challenge such that I really broke positioning. I was able to keep positioning through all of them, but uh, they also didn't move uh, particularly fast. I watched in particular the 335 set, and to me it looks and feels really slow. But um, at the same time, I'm also performing it in a very strict fashion, and uh, I'm able to keep good positioning throughout the entirety of the movement. And so uh, all of those factors are, are obviously going to limit, at least initially, my bar speed. So I was pretty happy with the session overall. Uh, initially, things didn't feel fantastic, but I just feel like it's another part, uh, another stage in the process of acclimating to the changes that I'm making to my squat. And uh, I think that I'm going to continue to make progress very quickly as a squatter. Really, this was mostly submax work for today, and that's probably going to be the case for the first cycle. I think I jump um, 15 pounds for next week. So in a few days, I will repeat this session. And then next week, I will jump 15 pounds for sets of three. And so I think my top set's supposed to be uh, 350 for three, and then it's 335 for sets of three. And uh, for the third week, um, I will be jumping another 15 pounds. Top set will be 365 for two, and then I'll be doing working sets with 350 for two. So I think that's the plan. Uh, the reverse band training that I'm doing is, is very much not being programmed. I just decided to do two heavy sets of four. The first 405 for four felt okay. The second set, I just dropped down faster into the hole, was able to get... Again, more of a stretch reflex, and all of a sudden they were they were much easier. I'm going to continue doing this, not just for a training stimulus, but also just um, to build confidence. Having doing the super max training really helps me with my confidence. Having a heavy weight on my back and being able to squat it and maintain position. And uh, the other thing that I'm trying to do, especially when I do these heavy sets, is I'm trying to smile as I do the sets, and so that's a, a, a fake smile right there. And uh, I, I hate squatting, and I hate uh, uh, basically everything about it. And uh, now with the technical changes, it's starting to feel better. So I'm trying to be positive during my sets, 
instead of being negative, I'm trying to uh, do stupid shit like smile, and uh, I'm going to continue doing that. Keep checking in, more videos for you very soon.